take my Xbox apart and um, I figured that I went online and find out how to take it apart, take it apart. Um, I began like the three uh, red lights which is overheat so of how to disassemble an Xbox 360 and um, and I learned how to do that and I'll put a link to it so that if anybody wants to disassemble it's not that hard so here is me trying to fix it because it overheat and I guess I just want to make a video out of it so maybe help somebody else just like I learned so here's the processor the video card processor right here and I decided to we put silver application on top of this one and also top of that one right here also when I'm also cleaning it out with a little bit of um, alcohol and toilet paper and just kind of because alcohol evaporates pretty good fast you know so you could actually wipe things down and vacuum it I bought this at eBay apparently this connects to here and then uh, this connects to where it's supposed to be or to the other fan and you could use these and also this one connects to right here and it connects to the uh, behind the uh, I got the, uh, the driver this one right here the driver and so what I'm gonna do is put a fan on it and because it's running hot so I'm gonna put new silver application on it put the heat sink then put a fan on top of the heat sink and I might make a hole and, and uh, make a hole here so I can put a fan on top of this it's like so you can modify it you know so kind of it's a little project I've been wanting to do it because if my, my Xbox has been working really well heat sink right here gotta clean them here's one of them and then here is another one right here oops here's another one right there which I'm cleaning right now it's called silver arctic and this is a uh, it's like a, a base application on top of here so it help, helps the heat of the heat sink and the processor when it gets hot it transfers the heat better to the heat sink and so you put it between these two and it helps the processor keep a little cooler and so it could run more efficiently and be a better system one thing about electronic stuff heat is the enemy of any electronic stuff and no matter what it is if there's too much heat it's going to run very slow so right now before, I'm going to clean this up a little bit more before I put this application and then put the heat sink on top just going to clean this and how I'm cleaning this because you know I, I cleaned this before I um, take a, t a, a cotton tip and I put a little spray a little alcohol then I just slightly touch the, the 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 lens here and then after it wet a little bit just a little bit just slightly then you the dry part just rub the rest of it out don't do it too hard you want to scratch it off just slightly just in case in, over the years dust came out of it or something or it's a bad dirty disc in there so I mean now that I have it open might as well do it so I already did that I'm just gonna close it back together but whoever in the future wants to do something like that you know that's just how you do it it's how you clean the inside of the lens of the disc okay um, I'm here with the Xbox and um, what I'm gonna do is uh, put the uh, silver application on um, each of the CPU and the video card. I believe that's what it is right here. And then I'm gonna put the heat sink, which goes like this, right on top of here. And then this part right here goes under it, and then you clamp it on. These hooks right here, you see, it like, is a hook. Uh, clamps on to these right here these little grooves right there if you see them right there and that's how you keep it nice and tight in there and this is what helps the uh, the same thing will work with this one also and then I'm um, but after do that after I do that 
I'm gonna put a fan on top of this to cool it down. So let me go ahead and, and add the application on it. All right. Here, I got the application. And I'm gonna pour the application in here. Okay, pause it for a minute. So I'm gonna take this silver application and pour on top of the CPU. Just you don't need a lot, just a little bit. See, there's a little bit right there, and a little bit right there, cause, and a little bit right there. And you know, it's good to have a glove like this, and kind of just mix it around. Let me try to make the glove a little tighter. Okay, then you mix it around a little bit, just like a little, you know, texture a little bit around. So when the, the heat sink falls on top of it, and you don't need very much. I think I added too, a little bit too much, but that's fine. But you don't need that much. See how it's just there, and then when you put the heat sinks on it, it just spreads a little bit more. But this helps the, uh, the heat sink, which is copper. I mean, it, uh... Some of this is carpet right here, and uh, high coat. And when it cools down, it cools it pretty well with this. And this kind of like a con heat conductor kind of mixture the the metal parts. So you're gonna have a little bit of this silver application on it. Now I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add this on top of it, and then I'm gonna flip it over. And then add these clips right in there. And I said, I think I could just push it in there. Let me see how much of an issue is going to give me. Well, not much of an issue, I think. Let's see. I think I guess there's a little bit more work to it. So I'm going to have to use a screwdriver. But that's pretty much what I'm going to do right now. I just wanted to show you that. So let me go ahead and put this down and then work on that. Okay, uh, I put it to back together. Here it goes. I just clamped it in in the spot. Here it is. So it has a silver compound inside of it. Um, put the heat sink on top of it. Now I have to cut these wires right here. And I believe these two wires right here, these two main ones, these two ones right here, are 12 voltage. These two. So I'm gonna cut it right here I'm gonna cut this right here and use those that 12 voltage on the fan I'm gonna use one of these fans right here I'm gonna which I'm gonna put it on top of the Xbox which I'm gonna cut a hole on uh, Heiko on the cover and then I'm gonna use also that voltage on this right here which I'm gonna screw this right on top of this heat sink which keeps it cool in there. So you got air blowing inside from the cover and then air blowing inside here to the heat sink so it keeps a cool system. This air right here. And then they're gonna be a fan and Xbox normally have a fan on the side there that blows it all out. So it's gonna be air flowing inside and and blowing out from the regular uh, Xbox fan. Well, the thing I, I don't I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it this way, but the thing I don't like about that, it's not gonna be any filter in this. No filter to block the dust and everything. So, you pretty much gonna have air just flowing in there, which is gonna keep the system cool. But over the years, it, it might not be a clean system. So maybe I don't know. You gotta find out how dusty gets and find out. Uh, and then just vacuuming, clean it up, you know, once in a while. So instead of buying a hundred, a hundred and forty dollars new Xbox, I figure I'll just open it up and just just work on it, see if it works for me, and see if I could uh, save this. It takes a little time and everything, but and, even if, and I save myself a hundred forty bucks. But I learned on the process, learn how to do this and work learning how to do other stuff and spike wires and put it back together uh, 
and um, let's see it works and if it does work it'd be much cooler system than buying a new Xbox and pretty much they had the same old stuff in there and you know so by adding all these fans and modification and if it does works uh, you have a brand new Xbox I mean a really good system Xbox put it like that and, um, and, and I guess that'd be alright okay um, I want to put a fan on top of this and so I had to cut a hole in it and also with the, you can notice that also the Xbox has a metal case on it so I use this right here I think this is like three inches apart open but um, I wasn't gonna get a bigger one why bother what I thought too is that these fans are gonna be in 12 voltage which is gonna spin really fast so it's not a total circle of the fan but the fan is gonna go fast enough to blow air inside there and um, you know, I have a choice you know and then these lights up also well as it blows air in there and it's gonna go in 12 voltage pretty fast you know and then you got this fan inside here too which is gonna be 12 voltage and I think this is 3 voltage or 5 voltage these fans so they're gonna these gonna blow out in regular speed with hardly any noise these might give a little bit of noise and so I could adjust these also like these right here that's why I'm, I'm gonna use this if it goes too fast then uh, I could adjust that this one I'm just gonna let it go regular speed which I believe it still will go a little loud but it'll be inside the case so hopefully that will inhibit a lot of the noise okay I I pretty much start putting things back together um, I actually started the, uh, turned on the Xbox just the way it is just like this just the way it is and this particular fan didn't know which one was ground so I had to figure out a way how to figure out which was ground what was positive there's different ways I guess so what I did I don't know if I earlier that showed that I spiked this one up right here the 12 voltage right here and that wire I said earlier and so I also had to get the ground because this is the ground the metal part is the ground so what I did I spiked the fan here and and use one wire for the ground which I connect this um, this fan which I'm gonna put it right over here put it right here and what I did when the Xbox was on I knew that this would turn on and that's fine but this one, I, I somehow in the, in the past I spiked this one, so I can't remember. I couldn't remember how I what was the ground on this one. So sometimes the wire tells you, it gives you a mark, gives you like a black label on it, and it tells you that. So what I did, I I did the same thing here. I can I just as the Xbox was on, I connect these two to the ground. Well, I actually tested them. Test these two and that two. So I found out by connecting, putting one of these here and then the other one here with the power was on because it's a 12 voltage from this cable right here. And I find out that this and the fan turned on. Make sure that this didn't touch any metal part. You know, this is the power. Didn't touch any metal part. So then it was short my uh, Xbox. Want this show? I put everything back together. Um, pull the wiring back together. It's all back. So I'm gonna turn it on and see if it works.